All she had was asthma. She, asthma don't cause bleeding on the brain. Amen. Bruises on your body. Shona Garner White continues to look for answers following the death of her daughter, 17 year old Alleged Jones. Jones died while in Youth Village's custody in November. According to Youth Villages, Jones was experiencing a medical emergency and died at the hospital. However, Jones's family says Jones was involved in an altercation with two male counselors who ordered her to remove her clothes. Youth Villages previously responded to the claims by saying, quote, many of the statements and comments circulating continue to be inaccurate and misleading. Attorney Ben Crump, who was representing Jones's family, says newly obtained medical records from the hospital corroborate what witnesses tell the family happened that day. These medical records speak to the truth. Compression of the brain, rhabdo Malosis, brain dead. Her child was assaulted and battered and choked. Youth villages say they have turned over surveillance footage of the incident to all relevant public safety and health authorities. Jones's family says they want to see the video for themselves. Show where the counselor's interactions were with this child and you pair with the medical records and you will know absolutely what caused her death. As a mother, I probably don't want to see the video, but as a human, I have to know what happened to my child. Reporting from True Wilborn, WREG News Channel 3. Bartlett Police, as well as the Tennessee Department of Children's Services, are investigating Jones's death. Youth Villages continues to deny any wrongdoing, saying Jones was never alone with male staff or asked to undress in front of them. In a statement released today, the organization says, quote, We are awaiting official medical reports, including the autopsy, before commenting on anything medically. We have been and continue to be fully transparent and working with all authorities, end quote.